crowd out here to see. Well, I, I think a lot of them are here to see Nelson Figueroa, <laughs> but I know many are also here to see the guy who's joined us right now. It's Matt Harvey. Terrific to see you, Matt. Too. You look great. You've looked great in camp so far, and about was made following your surgery last year and that thoracic outlet syndrome is something we don't hear a lot about so how have you felt so far and can you can you really notice a, a huge difference yeah definitely I think uh, you know the first couple weeks were definitely tough but you know, after after a certain amount of time and working with the PT um, you know things started feeling a lot better I started getting my range of motion back started getting strength back uh, you know, once I was able to do normal workouts, it, it kind of felt like a real off season and normal off season. And you know, picked the ball up early in December, and, and from day one, things felt great. I know we haven't seen you pitch in a game yet, but how much of a sigh of relief is there for you that you know you had the numbness in your hand last year, and that's gone now? Yes, completely. Yep. So, how much of a sigh of relief for you? Uh, it's exciting. I mean, I think you know, last year was such so difficult throwing, even just throwing a baseball. And now it's uh, it's fun again. Just yeah. playing catch is fun. So. Uh, I'm excited to get some hitters in there. I got, uh, we had some rain issues the other day where I was going to throw live batting practice, but uh, you know it is what it is, and uh, you know I'm excited to, to get out there and, and do some uh, some sprint training games. Now, since the moment you got to the big leagues, confidence and that bulldog mentality has been your game, right? Last year got shooken up a little bit. You had faced some blues for the first time in your career. How do you regain that form, that form that you've had previously? I think I think the work during the offseason goes into into that. I think you know there's a lot of frustration not only from uh, from hearing that, but also from you know how I felt and wanting to help the team and, and be out there every fifth day and um, you know do everything I can to, to help you know not only you know the Mets but, but the city of New York and um, you know it was tough. It was it was a uh, it's a tough experience, and, and I'm glad it's over. But uh, you know, I feel great, and I'm ready to go. Now, having the surgery that you had, I know when you came up to Tommy John, it took you a little while to get that power slider back, the same way you had it. But you did have that curveball that you had previously. Now, coming from thoracic, is there anything limiting your arsenal this time around? I threw a pretty good bullpen the other day, and I, I was uh, mixing everything in, throwing the curveball, throwing the slider. Pretty sharp, so I'm I'm, uh, I'm definitely feeling good. Everything's coming off great, and looking forward to getting some hitters in there. How do you describe yourself, Matt? Do you feel like you've changed as a pitcher since you first came up? I mean, it was electric out at City Field every time you took the mound. You you were a strikeout waiting to happen with every guy who came up. Are you going to be that same guy this year, or will there be more pitching to contact and and, and taking what you learned earlier in your career and building upon that? Uh, I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> um, now the uh, the goal is is to to regain uh, 2013 form and, and go out there and you know do what I did then. I, I haven't forgot that. Uh, I'm trying to forget what happened last year and, and I think that's behind me. But um, you know I'm going uh, I'm going out there to to do everything I can that I did in 2013 and uh, lead us to a championship. You know I do want to ask you because I think Nelly, you mentioned confidence. And how big a part is confidence in your success? I think it comes with, you know, feel. I think for me, going out there and not being able to feel normal on the mound, uh, you know, having the injury, you know, that's a big, that's a big, uh, a big tick to your confidence right there. But um, you know, since I've had the surgery, everything's felt great. Every time I pick up a ball, it, it feels normal and, and uh, feels powerful. And, and uh, I'm gearing up and ready to go. Well, you've been always the kind of big kid on the block, the best pitcher everywhere you've gone. Now that you've had some complications so far in your career, you know that you look around at the staff. I mean, as talented as they are, little competition, that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, first day you walk into the locker room and you see us five guys lined up uh, in a row like that, you, you want to... Uh, you want to you want to continue what's going on, and, and you know when Jake takes the mound, when Noah takes the mound, you want to step in that third day, fourth day, fifth day, whatever it is, and continue the su success. And, and uh, that's what we're here to do. I was going to ask you because when you think about some of the great pitching staffs in history, you go back. You know, when I was a little kid, I'm going to date myself here, but those great Oriole staffs of, of McNally and Cuellar and Jim Palmer in, in, in Baltimore, you guys have got the chance. To be that, Matt, and to be a part of that has got to be really exciting. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, we're not looking at it as a chance. We're looking at it as something that, that's going to happen for us. You know, we're we're uh, we're all in on it, and uh, we're ready to go.
Now, some of the other things that you've been working on, no throwing in the drills early on, it's been training. Everybody's a little different with that. Some of the things like holding on runners and bunting. Little parts of the game that are important in the National League for a pitcher. Have you been doing a little bit more of that this spring? I think it's, I think early in the in the camp, you know, we tried not to throw as much. I think they, they estimated about 100 throws that they could, they could, you know, keep us from doing, uh, you know, the first week of camp. And, I think that made a huge, a huge difference, especially now being in our second week and starting to get into games. Um, you know, I think a lot we're getting a lot of good feedback from from the guys, and and uh, everybody feels healthy and, and ready to go and energized. And you know, you get in, you get your, uh, you know, your couple team fundamentals in, and, and you get in and get out. And it's uh, it's been nice. You're a you're a huge New York guy. You love the city. You're at Ranger games. We see you. You're at, you're at Nick games. So when you think about trying to bring a champ, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but a championship to New York came close a couple of seasons ago. What's that thought process like for you? Uh, I mean, you look in that locker room and, and you see, uh, you can kind of envision the, the parade that we're going to have. And, <laughs> um, you know, it's exciting. I think uh, I think we're all ready for it. I think everybody's you know, doing their job to stay healthy for the main part. Um, and we're, we're going to do it all together, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Good to see you, Matt. You too. Thanks for spending Thank a few you. minutes with us. All right. It is Matt Harvey of the New York Mets joining us here.